Hi everyone, it's Liz from Liz's Paper Loft, and today I'm going to show you how to use EAD Designs Rub-Ons. And as you can see, I've already used some of these another time. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to make a quick little layout. And I love right now the 8x8 size. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and cut out the image that I want. You don't have to be precise, just, just get close to it. And I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. And then I am going to kind of just get my layout the way I want it, sort of. Um, I used my Imagine to print up some paper, and at first I thought I was going to do it on yellow. I used my black and white color, um, cartridge. And I decided that, that was not what I wanted. It was going to be way too busy. So I went back and reprinted it up on white. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Okay, so now I have my little girl there and my uh, mat. And I'm going to go ahead and mat it again. But I have to cut this one. There we go. So now I have all my sizes the way I want them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rub her onto my um, background paper. So what you do first is you score, um, not score it, burnish it. And I just use this little plastic, it's called a little chiseler. And just go ahead and score it or burnish it, I'm sorry, and then you're going to take the back and peel it off carefully and toss that away and now I'm going to go ahead and put her on here and I'm going to leave a little space at the bottom because I want it, I think I'm going to add a little stitching so I don't want her right there on the edge of the paper and then go ahead and rub it in and then use whatever you want, a popsicle stick or whatever your credit card, whatever. We all know we have our credit cards out while we're crafting, don't we? Because <laughs> who knows when we're going to spend more money. And just make sure you've burnished all the edges really well. And then you can kind of test it, make sure. Now I'm using a textured um, cardstock, so I really want to make sure that I do it. And then kind of go at, oops, see I didn't get her hair. Oops. There you go, look at how cute that is. I just think it's the coolest thing when you're popping it out. Look at that. Oops. I don't want the little doggy to lose his little legs. Well, it might be a girl doggy. Okay, look at that. There we go. Isn't that cute so far? Love that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and mount these. And then after I'm all done, I'll go ahead and show you everything I used. Okay, I think I'm going to add some ribbon to it. I think that's going to look cute right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just 
This is how I do ribbon sometimes when I'm doing on a picture so I don't waste it and I don't go all the way around. Nothing new. You guys all know how to do this. Some people glue it. I just use my ATG. Whoops. You know why I use my ATG? Because just because of this very reason. Look how cute that is. Okay, so that's going to go there. And I'm going to go ahead and. Oh, not going to fasten it yet or adhere it yet. I'm going to go ahead and um, I've already pre die cutted this. And um, I'll go ahead and after I'm done tell you whose products I used for everything. But I'm going to go ahead and stamp on there. And I have to do a test stamp. I'm not. I'm not that good at stamping sometimes. Perfect. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp the same image here. At least with this die, the way I'm going to use it, I have two chances. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? So, I'm going to go ahead and cut that in half. Let's see how that looks so far. Oh, that's so cute so far. But it's still missing a few things. So, let's see. Hmm. Maybe a little stitching around this. But I can, I can take care of that. Now, let's see if I don't ruin it this time by doing this. Okay, so this was kind of an afterthought. Just... Okay, so I just want to stamp on piece of paper so I don't get it on anything else because I've already cut my label um, I've already die cut my label and I don't want um, the stamp to go all over the place so now I'm just going to go ahead and oops it's a piece of fuzz let's make sure I Perfect. Okay. I told you I have to stamp twice. Okay. I think I'm close. Oops. There we go. Oh, that makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Okay, so now I've got my little girl. My rub on little girl and doggy. I've got my mat. I've got my um, die cutted label with the saying, and it's still missing a few things. So let's let's see what we've got here. I've got some buttons. Yeah, I might just need a button. Okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and um, adhere this on. And I have a really cute picture of um, one of my girls, and I have misplaced some pictures, but I know it's going to work in here. So that's why I don't have a picture yet. And I'm going to leave that up for just a bit while I get this in here, because it looks like I smudged some ink right there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to cop or cover that there. Oops, not quite even. There we go. Okay, so it still needs something. I think it needs a little ribbon. Okay. Put 
put that under here. I don't know if I want to tie a bow or not. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and just tie a little... A little knot with a... Yep, that's what I'm doing. Okay, grab my scissors. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a notched one. Nope, that's not right. <laughs> I almost messed that up. There we go. I'm going to use a little ribbon from Divine, or a little bit of um, Divine Twine. Twine, and this came from Whisker Graphics. Yeah. I wonder if I can get away with just using that piece. Let's see. Okay, so I've decided that I think the little dog is missing some jewels around its neck. And now I think it's missing one more important detail. I think it's missing some stitching. And I debated back and forth whether I should do white stitching or black stitching, and I'm going to go ahead and do white because I think it'll be enough to give it something but not overpower it and make it look more like a bumblebee than it already does. Um, let me find my good white pen though. There we go. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stitch this. And I'll go ahead and show you the finished project. Okay, so there's my finished page. And you can see that I added a little, um, an extra rhinestone. It, I don't know. I like odd numbers. So there you go. There's my page. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.